Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, believe it or not, people, this is where we are right now in this world on this thing that we call planet Earth. <laughs> this, my friends, this is not the PlayStation 6 that you're looking at. This is the PS5 Pro that you're looking at for $700. I can't believe it, man. Like, we're not having this, man. This is ridiculous what they're able to do. $700. Not for the PlayStation 6. No. Not for the PlayStation 6. You thought this was PlayStation 6, but this is not. Because you, you saw this price. I know you looked at the price first. Anybody with a job looked at these numbers first. They didn't even care about this picture. They looked at this number first right here. This $700. And they're wondering, what the fuck is going on? What What's happening? Like, this is consumerism at its best, man. And I hate to say it. I wanted this thing the second I heard that they were having a PS5 Pro. I'm thinking, you know, four ninety nine. you know, yeah, yeah, three. I don't know. I don't know what I was expecting, bro. Maybe that's my problem. Maybe that's my fault. But nah. Nah, B. We, come on, man. <laughs> so, PlayStation 5 for running games at 30 frames per second. What is this going to do? What? Vertical stand sold separately. So, you, you're paying $700 and you got to pay for the stand? And then I know... I know, I know, I know, I know. Hold up. I know this is not this raggedy ass PlayStation 5 dual sent shock. Dual. I know this is not that piece of trash controller that I have right now. These controllers that last two weeks before you have a stick drift, before buttons match, before it just decides it don't want to work anymore. These these accessories, these these consoles right here are made of the cheapest parts money can buy. And they're sold to us for $700. Now let me explain my situation to you right now. The HDMI port, through no fault of my own, is broken on my PlayStation 5. Why? Like, why? I have all these other devices that use HDMI ports. Nothing's broken. How all I'm, how often do you unplug your HDMI port? You know, once you have your PlayStation, you got your setup, and you, this is where your thing goes, you know what I mean? Like, it's not like it's in and out, in and out, in and out. We're not. Yeah. $700. Do you know how much it costs to get the HDMI port fixed on my PlayStation 5? Do you know? $190. It ranges from $160 to $190, depending on who you trust, who you want to go to. Just for the HDMI port to be replaced, bro. Do you know they're paying like five cents for that HDMI port part? You're literally paying for somebody to solder. That's not it. Maybe I'm doing the wrong thing in life. Maybe I need to go solder. Maybe I, I just need to learn how to solder. Because why does it cost $160 to replace the uh, port? You have to desolder, replace part, and then solder. That's literally it. <laughs> You're not fooling me, man. What am I missing out on here in life? You know what I'm saying? $700, guys. What are these frame rates about to be, bro? We're going to be at 100. We're going to be locked at 120 FPS. Yeah. Yeah. For sure, for this price point, we're gonna be at 120 frames per second. Like, it, come on, man. GTA 6, GTA 6 about to be crazy. Like, come on. We're talking about, we're talking about 699. We're talking about this controller, this PS5, this stand, and five games. You hear me? You hear me? But let's see, man. Cause I don't believe it. I, I can't believe it. I can't believe what my eyes are seeing, man. This, this. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mark Cerny. I'm excited to be here to talk about the newest addition to our console lineup, okay. PlayStation 5 Pro.
and how it advances gaming technology. But first, I want to take just a minute to look at what we put in the original PlayStation 5 and how it delivers an exceptional gaming experience. When PS5 debuted in 2020, it brought a lot I'm, to I'm the- I'm gonna have to pause it, bro, because first of all, they have this thing on the screen, right? You see this thing on the screen that can move from left to right? So this is supposed to represent PS5 graphics, y'all, with it all the way to the left. Everything's in PS5 graphics right now. As I scale to the right, it's supposed to be enhancing it to PS5 Pro. Do you see any $700 difference? Are you, first of all, PS5 don't look like that. PS5 look more like this, with a little bit less reflection. With a little bit, okay, the ref, okay, reflections are great. Reflections look great. $700, bro, for a stronger GPU that we should have had in the PlayStation 5 because you touted it as one of the most technologically advanced consoles of all time? What are we talking about, guys? The table. Eight Zen 2 CPU cores form the brains of PlayStation 5 and enable high-speed complex gameplay. Why would we want to watch the... I mean, this is ridiculous, man. They're trying to say the game looks like this. It does not. I promise you the game looks better than that on PS5. Unless you really are playing at like 720p. What are we... What? They just really tuned up the sharpness. No sharpness, 100% sharpness. <laughs> like, come on, man, we all know these tricks. This looks like the Canva thing when you want to upscale a picture after you upscale a picture on Canva. Yeah, yeah, you can scroll it like this and see the difference. It looks just like this. All you're doing is upscaling. Come on, man. With character counts reaching into the hundreds. <laughs> Yo, they about to, this is about to be a heist. Frame rate. What did that say? PlayStation 5 and enable high speed complex gameplay with character counts reaching into the hundreds. Okay. So you can see more of the crowd. Okay. They can have more characters on the TV at, at, at one time. And f Rupture upon us. Holy is the mouth that bleeds. Live witness mayhem. Join children of the. Yeah. They, I, I mean, I would like to think it, it's an accident, this right here, but. <laughs> Frame rates that can be as high as 120 frames a second. You gotta watch them. PS5 has a powerful RDNA 2 GPU. Okay, so the GPU, you know, enables it to, uh, basically a, a bigger GPU, I guess that's how they described it, would enable them to render 3D graphics faster. Render 3D graphics faster. So, this is the PS5. This is the PS5 Pro. $700. Which can render anything from intricate details to fantastic worlds with vast panoramas to explore. Ray tracing allows for dramatic visual okay, improvements, tracing. including reflections off of water or glass, and the realism that comes from real-time global illumination. A custom SSD can load data at breathtaking speed, resulting in ultra-fast transitions between game worlds, And data streaming rates so high that traversal they speed. This Spider Man, nobody is still playing that game. Nobody's playing Spider Man right now, man. 2024 Marvel, the game came out in 2023. Everybody beat it in the first week. Everybody beat this game in the first week. And then, you know, like, why are they showing this? Why can't they show games that's gonna be on the PS5? Games Pro? are essentially unlimited. Why can't we see a PS5 Pro exclusive game? Drop something. Since it comes out in November. You okay? I'm working on it. Tempest 3D Audio Tech brings an unparalleled sense of immersion to the sound of the games. Do y'all have problems with sound with this game? Is there, is there a sound problem? I didn't know. Let, let me know. I, let me know. I'm usually trying to, you know what I mean? What do they mean? What, why are we... They're enhancing the sound. What about the FPS? Audio so real you may not even need to see the enemies to know exactly where they are. Finally, the DualSense controller
I know they are not boasting about this piece of garbage. I know they're not. I know they're not. Oh, we can even see the PS5 controller in PS Pro graphic quality. Wow. Bro, what are we talking about? This is janky, scummy marketing lingo. ...has haptics that let you feel... On an EA Sports level, like for real, bro. ...through your hands, what your character is experiencing. They descaled the freaking footage and then said that was PS5 and then upscaled it and said that was PS5 Pro. ...inside of the game. This ain't $700. It's wonderful to see such variety and richness of game experience. This is the architect right here. Experiences. Creators have made amazing use of the hardware capabilities, but when I talk to them, I do hear about their desire for more graphics performance. The dreams of the developers are bigger than can be supported at 60 frames per second, and that leads to an aspect of modern gaming that we're all familiar Wait, with. Wait, did he say? Graphics modes. He said 60, 60 frames per second? He said 60? leads to an aspect of modern gaming that we're all familiar with for more graphics performance. The dreams of the developers are bigger than can be supported at 60 frames per second, and that leads to an aspect of modern gaming. Wait, why are we at 60? Why are we at 60? Why are we at 60, bro? Why are we at 60? It's the PS5 Pro. <laughs> Man, they about to sell this thing for $700 at 60 frames per second? ...that we're all familiar with. Graphics modes. It can be a difficult choice for players. Difficult choice. Which Fidelity is, modes emphasize the visuals, typically oh, through difficult. higher resolution rendering. These modes might they also have ratchet. enhanced detail or use more ray tracing. The game, bro, what? <gasps> but the games only run. They keep showing the same games, bro. And look at this. Whose PS5 looks this blurry? Whose PS5 looks this blurry, y'all? Let me know. Let me know. When the PS5 looked this blurry, man. When when have you seen it? That's how my PS5 looks right now. It don't it don't look like that. <laughs> look at that building back here, man. How why is it so blurry? Like so we're gonna see. Okay, so this the reflection, we can see detail of the reflection of these windows far over here. Where the, where the scroll is, you can see like reflections on there that's and up here on this top floor of this building right here you can see i mean she's louise man come on look how fast this scene is on this game run at 30 frames per second the visuals can be choppier and the controls less responsive performance modes emphasize frame rate and interactivity typically choosing to run at 60 frames per second mainly by reducing okay. the graphical detail until those frame rates can be achieved. Okay. When asked to decide on the mode, players are choosing performance about three quarters of yeah, the time. Right. Removing that decision, or at least narrowing that divide, is one of the key targets for PlayStation 5 Pro. We want to give players the graphics that the game creators aspire to at the high frame rates that players typically prefer. To do that, PS5 Pro substantially Man, get up out of Pro here. support to new and existing titles. And with the big three involved, the results can be pretty amazing. With graphics showing something like fidelity levels of detail, but it doubled the frame rate. Here's Double. The Last of Us Part 2 running on PS5 Pro. It has huge amounts of detail and targets a super smooth 60 frames per second. Let's compare. Super smooth. 60 frames per second. We need more than that, buddy. Look at what's on our screen right now. Look at what's on our screen right now. We need more than 60 frames per second, bucko. For $700, by the way. <laughs> what? What? Most people, and that, the average person probably doesn't even know what 60 frames per second mean, but just know we need more than that for all this that we see, all this detail. This to the fidelity mode on online, PS5. Online play. Five. Come on, man. Which is only running at 30 frames per second and is therefore much choppier. Don't stop. We gotta lose. This goal of delivering almost we'll, fidelity is, like Okay, so the 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 thing here is, will this GPU 
live up to the hype? Will the hardware be able to match the 60 frame per second at, you know, like all this stuff they're, they're talking about? Will it actually work out? That's a risk. $700. They could literally come back two years later and say, oh, we messed up. Uh, we meant that we gave them the ability to uh, make it 60 frames per second, but you know we didn't say any titles were 60 frames per second lock. And we're not. We're just talking about 60, bro. Affects the performance frame rate has been achieved for a broad set of titles, including Marvel's Spider-Man 2. More, okay, more Spider-Man. And Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. More Ratchet and Clank. We can see that PS5 Pro is close this to is doubling. The this is how we're comparing graphics, guys. Spider-Man and Ratchet and Clank. Power of PlayStation 5. The only two games that have graphics. Another way to compare the two consoles is to look at PS5 Pro versus performance mode on PS5, both of which target 60 frames Read per it. second. What we see here is a difference in detail. PS5 Pro is much sharper and crisper Wait, than PS5. What? Here is a difference in detail. Difference in detail, okay. Let me know when you see $700. I see this building looks completely different. It looks completely different. The one on the left, looks completely different this scene it, it just looks like two different scenes it's just two different scenes you know what I mean I don't know what they're doing PS like, look at right here why is it blurry right there like that 5 pro is much sharper and crisper than ps5 they are literally trying to shoot down the PlayStation 5 to lift up the PlayStation 5 Pro, bro. This is insane. Not for the this, PS6. My favorite is the parade scene from Ratchet and Clank. Distant details are much clearer. Distant details. Clearer. And here we can see Marvel's Spider-Man 2 is noticeably higher resolution throughout the scene, including the trees and procedural cars. The trees and... So overall, some remarkable improvement to the games. On PS5 Pro, we can see increased sharpness to the graphics, Bro, or smoother games. and more responsive Bro. gameplay. This is the big three showing their value. Uh, As you've been seeing, machine learning via the PSSR uh, live. Uh, looks great. I mean, what's with all of the? Chuck, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This looks good right here, though. Hold on. Whoa, this looks good. I want to turn that bitch up on my damn TV right now. Can I do that? This looks good right here. Bro. You yo, I had to go back and see if this was a damn game, bro. Ooh, we that looks like a commercial. Yo, that looks good, man. It's not gonna. It's not. It's gonna be hard for this to live up to what they're talking about because they're gonna need to go beyond 60 frames per second. Vertical stand sold separately. Put the price up and stop playing. You and I, we couldn't even do this right here. Because you'd be in jail. You hear me? Like, we couldn't even do this. They call us thugs. They, they call us scammers. Now, GPU, okay, all right, we'll see. But wait a minute. Let me, let me, let me, let me show you this. Vertical stand sold separately, right? Let's go, let's, let's, let's go over here. What is what is this, guys? There's no disk drive that comes with that $700 you thought it was? You thought it was a disk drive? 
No, no, no. That's just the digital version, bucko. There's no disc version of the PS5 Pro. You gotta buy it right here for 80 more dollars. So that's possibly, I'll say that vertical stand is probably gonna run you about $30. At least, I'm being generous, that's $110 more. That's $110 on top, on top of that 700. Do you hear what I'm saying to you? We're talking well above 700. We're talking above 800, bro. Plus that controller that you're going to need two weeks after you have this one right here, the, the one that comes with this piece of crap, this one right here. Bro, as a PlayStation, somebody who had the, the original PlayStation, childhood, growing up, it was all about PlayStation. This right here, man, is... This should be illegal, bro. Straight up and down. It should be illegal. It should be illegal. Yo, this should be illegal right here, man. There's no reason that we should be paying 800 and something dollars to play a game at a higher level. And, nah, and it's not even the next console. It's not even the next console. Look at this. PlayStation 4 debuted at, at $299. Okay? That was equivalent to about Four ninety nine today. That was twenty. That was September fifteenth, twenty sixteen. November tenth, twenty sixteen. Almost right. This is crazy. Like PS four Pro came out uh, two months after the PS four came out for a hundred more dollars, bro. You could upgrade for a hundred more dollars. Look at this. They shit on themselves by putting this graphic up. Look at this. Look at this. And here we are. The PS5 been out for how long? Four or five years? Five years, maybe? Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. And it's $700. So we was just on this. We was just on this PS4 right here. Five years ago, guys. Then they sell us a, what? $500 piece of crap hardware having PlayStation 5. They turn around and make they make us sit with that for the for basically the life cycle of a console. As you see, the the PS4 debuted 2016, and the PS5 debuted what 2020, 2019, 2020, right? Come on, come on, man, come on. And then and then we're I guess you you could say we're halfway through the PS5 cycle because. Four years later, here's the PS5 Pro for the price of the console of the PS5, for more than the price of the PS5, and for less of the product of the PS5. You know, this is crazy. This price is ridiculous, man. And, and I tell you what they're going to do. They're going to purposefully not produce enough units. And what's going to happen is demand is going to be sky high. People are going to be selling these things on the street for a thousand. Wow. In immediately. Out the gate. No questions asked. That's what's going to be happening. That's what's going to be happening. That's what's going to be happening. <clears throat> mm, 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 mm. PS5 Pro indicates AMD APU and will have GPU component with 60 CUs. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, so they got all the so okay. AMD Zen two, the and this has the a, AMD Zen four. Eight core sixteen threads. So instead of three point five gigahertz uh, on the CPU, we get a four point two gigahertz variable CPU. Okay. Okay. Instead of a two point three gigahertz GPU. We get a 2.5 gigahertz GPU. Okay. Ports. Bluetooth. One gig Ethernet. Um, Wi-Fi. Okay. Over here, we have one gig Ethernet. We have Bluetooth 5.3 instead of Bluetooth 5.1. Um, the PS5 had... What's one USB 2.0 and three USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports, uh, 10 gigabytes a second, all of them. 
Um, it doesn't say for the PS5 Pro what ports it's going to have. What's up with that? And how many HDMI ports? Because we should have more than one, I guess, for 700. Right? 60 frames per second, man. Does that justify it? I don't think so, man. We This is insane. And, and, and you know, the the people that have to have the next new thing, they're going to have it. And I'm not I'm not going to lie. There's some things where I've been a victim of that, you know, and I've been that person. But this right here was alarming to me when the price dropped today. And, you know, we found out that we're going to be paying more than the PS5 cost for the PS5 Pro. And it doesn't come with shit. It doesn't come with a disk drive. You have to buy that for $80. It doesn't come with one of the souped up pro controller. It doesn't come with a pro controller. It comes with a regular dual sense, uh, freaking field sense controller. Man, these people are some clowns, bro. That's 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 pretty much all I can say, man. 